Manfred Bull has advanced pancreatic cancer. Two weeks ago, the tumor was supposed to be removed, but his surgeon halted the operation. He discovered the tumor had already surrounded vital blood vessels in the abdomen, so removing it surgically was no longer an option. Pancreatic tumors are often discovered at a relatively late stage because they don't cause symptoms at an earlier point. I can see that the tumor has grown around the vessels there, so it's no longer operable. But these vessels don't pose a problem for us, like they do in all other procedures. Holger Stronk is relatively sure he'll be able to help Bull using a new ultrasound therapy that's currently being tested in Bonn. The procedure uses heat to destroy tumor tissue with pinpoint accuracy. A transducer bundles the high-frequency sound waves, much like a magnifying glass concentrates the rays of the sun. A test demonstrates the massive amount of energy that will be released in the tumor cells. We want to destroy the tumor, so we need to achieve temperatures of about 80 degrees Celsius. That destroys the tumor in this well-defined area. The surrounding area is also heated by the energy, but only a bit, so it's not harmed. Today's procedure is just a simulation. That will allow Bull's doctors to see whether the ultrasound beam can even reach the tumor. The patient lies directly above the ultrasound device. You need to move down a bit. And now the hole underneath you will open up. Okay, now lie back down again. The ultrasound transducer has two functions. First, it emits low energy waves that locate the tumor. Then it emits highly focused and intense ultrasound waves to destroy it. This down here is the transducer, and this is water. This is the skin. We're monitoring this in real time. We can see the patient breathing right here. So as soon as anything moves, you have to shift the transducer by hand. This small green oval area is the area where the tumor will be treated and destroyed. In a later session, Bull's doctor will retrace the shape of the tumor, guiding the highly focused ultrasound waves into the cancerous tissue and destroying the tumor piece by piece. The simulation today is a success. I'm optimistic that the treatment three days from now will work. The treatment makes surgery unnecessary, and there's no harmful radiation either. The researchers hope that in the long term, high-intensity ultrasound therapy will prove to be a less invasive way to treat tumors effectively, even ones in advanced stages.